Hi, I'm Emma and I'm going to be talking about open access. So what is open access? Open access is a set of principles and a range of practices through which research outputs are distributed online, free of cost or other access barriers. Gratis open access allows immediate and permanent access to research outputs free online, but Libra open access is the same, but is also when the outputs have an open license for copyright and therefore are free to reuse. The main focus of the open access movement is peer reviewed research literature. This is centered mainly on academic journals whereas conventional non-open access journals cover publishing costs through access tolls, such as subscriptions, site licenses, or pay-per-view charges. Open access journals are characterized by funding models, which do not require the reader to pay to read the journal's contents, or they rely on public funding. It is the author or the author's funder that pays the article publishing charge. Open access can be applied to all forms of published research output, including peer reviewed or non peer reviewed academic journal articles, conference papers, theses, book chapters, monographs, research reports and images. It also refers to data and software. There are lots of different ways to make your research outputs open access, not have to come at a cost. It is therefore a misconception that you have to pay to make your research open. Please see the table on this slide for more details about the different types of open access. These are often talked about as refer referring to journal articles, but actually apply to how we go about making all research outputs accessible. Gold open access is when you, as the author, pay a fee to make your article or other research outputs open immediately and free to read, and if possible, available for reuse. Green open access is where you use a preprint server or open repository to deposit a version of your article or other research outputs. This does not come at a charge to you or to the reader. I also want to highlight black open access. Many researchers upload final published versions of articles to academic social media sites such as ResearchGate or Academia, but this can be in breach of the copyright. You also need to be careful when using sites like SciHub to access research articles, as this is also an illegal act. Publishing research is changing. We are now moving away from the standalone research articles that just present results, interpretations and conclusion. Research is moving towards being published in a reproducible manner. This means standalone articles are not sufficient. Our articles need to link to all outputs generated in research, such as data, code and methods. This makes our work more comprehensible and aids reuse of data and other research outputs. But as I mentioned earlier, it is not only research articles that we can publish. There is a whole spectrum of research outputs that can be opened up and published throughout the research life cycle. This includes writing blogs and making videos or podcasts to open our research up to wider audiences writing data papers to enable the fair deposition of research data, and having open source projects that show complete transparency of research as it happens. Now that we know what open access is and isn't, it's important to think about why would we want to make our research open access. So some carrots, so incentives for increasing the accessibility of our research are, Making your work openly available makes it more readily visible and discoverable. Others can actually download and read it, not just the abstract. For example, it has been shown that open access articles attract more attention from the scientific community and the media. Your work is more transparent. Others can then understand fully what you have done and reproduce your research using your data and analysis steps. Thorough validation can happen by peer reviewers, but also the wider community. This can happen in the preprint stage, leading to greater research quality. With greater accessibility and transparency, research is made more sustainable. More researchers can reuse and build upon your research. 
More accessibility means you are including more people in your research. This includes other researchers, the wider scientific community and the general public. And finally, this in turn allows for greater diversity in our research community and more broadly greater diversity in those that interact with and benefit from research. It is gradually becoming mandatory that we make our research outputs open access. Funders in different countries and regions are now requiring immediate open access for publications and also outputs linked to these publications. These funders include UK Research and Innovation, the European Research Council and also federal funders in the United States. Even if your funders don't yet say it is mandatory, making your research open access demonstrates you know it is the way science is moving forward. Some institutions also have policies that require outputs to be open access. There are now an increasing number of open access only journals that therefore require gold open access and have strict policies about open access to linked research outputs such as data. Many hybrid journals now have author policies that require you to make your research outputs linked to articles open access. There are many ways to make your research outputs open access that do not require paid services from journals or repositories. There are many free and open repositories that take any type of research output. Examples here are Figshare, Zenodo, Dataverse and Open Science Framework. You may also have a university or institution repository that you can use. These services give you a digital object identifier or DOI that can be used to cite your research output. You can also put your own choice of open license on your output to enable reuse. For articles, you can deposit a preprint on a preprint server and there are many of these to choose from as you can see on this slide. These are all free to use. There are also alternative publication routes, routes such as Peer Community In or Open Research Europe. These systems enable preprints to be peer reviewed by experts in a discipline and then recommended, just like is done when you submit your article to a journal. This process creates a citable version of the reviewed article. With Peer Community In, there are specific groups for archaeology, ecology and paleosciences that would be relevant to fight with research articles. PCI is completely free for authors and readers. One of the initiatives that the International Committee on Open Phytolith Science has been tackling is drawing together a guide about open publishing in phytolith research. You can access this guide on Zenodo. There is also a guide to how to upload research outputs in Zenodo in the same location. Thanks for listening and please do connect with us on Slack, join our mailing list, take a look at our website or follow us on Twitter or Facebook.